Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Last week in a video I mentioned that I'm going to start to do some videos on Pixelmator Pro. Now I haven't used Pixelmator in some time, so I've been kind of brushing up my skills with it over the past week. And there's just some things about it that are absolutely incredible. And one of them is its ability to clip out the subject of an image. So in today's video, I just want to show you that. I just want to show you how Pixelmator will clip out the subject of an image and you can put that subject in another photo. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the exact same photos in Photoshop. So you can see how easy it is to do in Pixelmator compared to Photoshop. Now specifically, I have this image that I took of this sunset. Then I have a stock image of this couple, and they're both sunsets. But what I want to do is I want to clip out the couple and just put them in this scene. And I purposely chose an image that is a little busier. Like I could have chosen a couple in front of a seamless paper background, and that would have been very easy to clip out. It's a little more challenging when they're in a real scene, you know, a background that is a little bit more um, complex than seamless paper. Now, what you would do, there's different ways you could go about doing it, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to drop it on top of this image. So to do that, I'm going to select the entire image by hitting Command A on my Mac, it's Control A on the PC, Then I'm going to go over the Im to the image that I want to put this couple in, and I'm going to paste it here by hitting Command V. So now it's pasted there. Now you can see it doesn't exactly fit. It's a little bit smaller. I could take these handles and draw it out to make it the same size, but I'm going to leave it this size right now and I'll reposition it and or resize it later. What I want to do right now is I want to clip out the couple. And really it's just a single button. You go up here in the top right hand corner and right here, click on remove the background from the currently selected layer. And I should add, we have a couple layers over here and the top layer is the layer of the couple. So I'm just gonna click this button and you can see it's removing the background and it gives you a progress percentage. And when it is done, it will just have the couple. Now it doesn't look quite right. We need to do some work and how good of a clip out job did it actually do? Well, it seemed to have missed right here. For example, if I have the move tool, which I have right now, and I move them around, you could see that if I put like this spot right here in front of those trees, you could see that it's not really coming through. So I need to fix this spot here, and there might be a tiny little spot by your finger over here. So what I need to do is add a mask to this. So I kind of repositioned where I want them make right here. So what I'm going to do is add a mask. To do that, just go over here on the layer and right click right on it and we're going to go down to Add Mask. Now we're on the mask. Now I need to refine the mask. So I'm just gonna right click right on the mask and go on to Refine Mask. And over on the right hand side we have some tools that we could use. Specifically, I want to use the Quick Selection Brush just to select the areas that I need to uh, get rid of the original image. And I am going to um, specifically do the minus brush. So I'll come in here and you can see as I hover over that it has that little overlay on there so I could see exactly what I'm doing and you could see and there's this little thing by your finger I believe right here it doesn't look right. All right and then we'll click apply. Okay now you could see it took care of it. I'll go back to the layer of the couple and I'll go to the move tool and I can move them around. You can see now that that looks much better. And we'll reposition them, something like that. Now I need to make it look uh, like the lighting matches. My image, that is the background image, is a little bit too cool. So what I need to do is warm that up. I'm going to click on that layer. And then I'm going to go over here to this icon right here, Color Adjustments. And I'm going to go to the Color Temperature. And I'm going to take this slider and move it to the right just to warm up my image. So it looks a little better. Also, I think I want to make maybe my image just a tad brighter as well. Make it match a little better. And there it is. I'm done. That is how you do it in Pixelmator. Now, let's do the same thing in Photoshop. 
Photoshop, we could do it just as effectively, but it is a little more difficult. So I have the same two images open here. Here's my background image. I can fit it to screen. Hit Command or Control Zero. There we go. And then we could go to the stock image and do the same thing there. Command or Control Zero. Now what we need to do here is again, uh, we could select a couple here, clip them out here, then drag them over to the other tab, or I could do it similar to the way I did it in Pixelmator. Take this whole image and drop it on the other image. Now I could just use the move tool. The keyboard shortcut is V. And by the way, many of the keyboard shortcuts between Pixelmator Pro and Photoshop are shared. So the move tool in Pixelmator Pro is the V key. V is in victory, and it's the same thing in Photoshop. So I could just click and drag it, but not all operating systems allow you to do that. So what you could do is, like I did in Pixelmator, select everything by hitting Command or Control A, copy that to the clipboard by hitting Command or Control C, then go over to the other, other image and hit Command or Control V. So now I have it on there just like I did in Pixelmator. Now what we need to do is select the subject of this layer. We're on that layer of the couple. Then we're going to go up to Select and then down to Subject. And you'll see that it will select the subject, but it doesn't finish the job like Pixelmator did, like actually remove the background. It gives us the marching ants. What we really need to do is refine this because I did refine it in Pixelmator. Remember, I had this little piece in here it missed and I had to refine it. Well, we need to refine it here as well. So what we're going to do is you could click on any selection tool. Just hit the W key on your keyboard and you'll get one of these three selection tool object, quick selection or magic wand. Then we're going to go to Select and Mask. And you could see that it, maybe in his hair a little bit, it didn't. Down here, it didn't. Maybe down here, it didn't. And in between our fingers right here. But it did most of it in here, maybe a little bit right there. So what we want to do is we want the second brush from the top. This is the Refine Edge brush. And then with this brush, we'll just come in and paint these areas that we need it to be refined. And then her fingers over here. Like here, and then his hair a little bit. Now you could experiment. There is a button up here called Refine Hair. Often, I found this doesn't work. I'm going to click it. And you can see it actually took away some of her hair over here. So I'm going to undo that by hitting Command Z on my Mac. It's Control Z on your PC, and it brought back that hair. So we come in here and get this little spot right there. I think I did all right, just off the top of my head. Now we want to output it to a layer mask like that. And we'll click OK. And there, now we have them clipped out. Now we need to move them where we want. Get the Move tool by hitting the V key on your keyboard, and we could move them. Like over in here, like I did with the other image. Now, again, we're troubled with the background. The background's a little cool compared to them. I need to warm up the background. There actually isn't a, uh, an adjustment in Photoshop proper for white balance. Now there is in Adobe Camera Raw, but there isn't in Photoshop, meaning there isn't an adjustment layer. I, there isn't anything if I go up to image adjustment, there's nothing there for, for white balance at all. So what do we do? Let's click on this background. There's a couple things we could do. First of all, you may be able to get away with going up to image adjustments and then going down to photo filter and use a warming filter and you can try to warm it up that way. I don't like that. But what I recommend you do instead is use Adobe Camera Raw. Now the trouble with using Adobe Camera Raw, if I'm on the background and I go up to filter and I go up to camera raw filter it will bring just the background and I won't be able to really see the top layer, the layer of the couple. So I won't really know if I'm adjusting the white balance uh, properly for the whole scene. So what you're going to need to do is a little more involved. We need to put either flatten these layers. You would go up to layer and all the way down to the bottom or all the way almost to the bottom flattened image. You could do that or you could put a stamped layer on top. There's a keyboard shortcut for that, and it's a uh, four-key keyboard shortcut, so it's a little complicated. On a PC, it's Shift-Alt-Control-E. 
on a Mac, it's Shift Option Command E. When you do that, you have this stamp layer here now. Now, what you could do is you could go up to Filter and then down to Camera Raw Filter. Now, we'll get the entire image with the couple and the background, but we just want to do our adjustments to the background. So, what we need to do is go to Masking and we need to select the subject. So, it selected the subject. Now, we need to invert this mask. Click on these three dots and invert the mask so that the background is selected. Now we could come into the color temperature and warm it up and we could maybe increase exposure like I did before. And if you feel maybe in this case it looks like the couple might be a little bit dark as well. So I could create a new mask, select the subject. This time it does select the subject. I'm not going to invert it and I'll just bring exposure up for them a little bit as well. And then click OK. So that's how you would do this both in Photoshop and Pixelmator. And I think you'll agree, Pixelmator actually, uh, I think it, it's pretty easy. Uh, I think it's considerably easier than Photoshop and it did just a good a job. So going forward, I will be doing some videos on Pixelmator, um, maybe a couple a month, maybe once a week. Anything specific you want me to demonstrate in Pixelmator Pro, let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.